Hello guys, this is Tapsan Ishmael. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to use events to show more information on a page. So as you can see, I have a sample page here. I have some rollover layer with some font or some icon and then some text. And then I have a shape which is seven as my button here. Now when I click on show more, realize there is another layer which contains some kind of information which shows here. And then my button here vanishes. And then when I come to the very bottom, I have a button here that shows um, show less. Now when I click on this, that is going to bring me to my normal position. If you took a good look, when I clicked on this, you realize that layer, this particular layer which was here, moved to the bottom and then this layer appeared. And then when I click on this, uh, the layer that contains the information here disappears and then this layer moves to its um, original state. Now let's take a look at how to achieve this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. I'm going to go ahead to open my WYSIWYG Web Builder. Then we can get started on how to do that. So my WYSIWYG Web Builder is opened. Uh, let's see how best we can go about that. First of all, I'm going to come to the tool section and then I'm going to look for a layer two. Now I'll click on the layer. I'm going to draw here. Let me just expand this to the width of my page here. Let me just right click on an empty space, go to page properties and then set the page alignment to center, that center horizontally. I'll click on OK. Now I'm going to double click on this layer. I'll set the alignment to center and then I'm going to check relative horizontal sizing and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to set the size of this layer to 400 pixels. So let me just set this to 400 pixels. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. And then I'm going to create some content in here. I don't necessarily have to use rollover layer. You can use anything that you want. So I'm going to, let me just um, create a layer here. This is a sample, um, so I'm not going to make this look so good. I'm just going to do something. Let me just come here and then change the background color of this to maybe this. Let me just go ahead and then create another one. And then finally create a last one here. Let me hold on the shift key, select all three and then create equal space in between them. And then let me just move them in the middle of my layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring a shape. Now I'll come to my tools and then this time around I'm going to look for a shape. Now I'll click on the shape and then I'll draw here. Let me just move this up a bit and then I think this position is okay. I'm going to double click on this shape. First of all, I'm going to change that is from publish to image as um, publish to that is as CSS3. After doing that, I'll come to test and then I'm going to enter show more here. I'm going to highlight over my test I have in here. I'm going to change the size to about 12 pixels. Let me change the color to white and then let me change the background color to black so that it becomes visible. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. So I have my first section created here. I'm going to go ahead and create, um, that's change the name or the ID for this particular layer to first. And then I'll go ahead and create another layer. So I'm going to just right click on this layer, copy it, and then I'm going to paste here. And then let me just move it to the bottom of this. Let me just move it here. And then I'm going to change this to, let's say, um, second. Now I'm going to create another layer here. So let me just move this to the bottom a bit. I'll come back to my two section. I'm going to locate the layer two. And then I'm going to draw in here. So this is just going to serve as a layer containing, let's say, other information on this particular page. I'm going to move this to the, expand this to the width of my page. I will click on this, enable relative horizontal sizing. Check this. And then I'm going to change the background color of this. Let's just say this is going to be this dark black I have in here. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. So as you can see, I have my three layers here. I have this layer. I have this layer and then this is going to be the layer which is going to contain more information. Let me just change the test in here to show less. And then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to rename this button to button 1. And then let me just uh, rename this also to button 2. I'll go ahead and then um, what I'm supposed to do next is to create my event. But before I create my event, let me just um, okay, let me just go ahead and create my event. First of all, I'm going to double click on this show more. I'll come to event and then I'll hit on add. 
Now the first event is when I click on this button, this second layer I have at the bottom here is supposed to show. And when it's showing, it's supposed to move this particular layer to the very bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead to do that. I'll first of all click on um, the action section and then I'm going to select that is um, show with effect. Let me just select show with effect and then this is going to be the second layer. That's the second layer I have in there. And then this, uh, I'm going to select, let's say, the fade effect and then increase this to about 1000 to give me some kind of fade effect which is going to be visible. Now go ahead and hit on OK. Now the second event is going to be when I click on this save button, it is supposed to move this particular layer to the bottom. And now it is supposed to move it to a certain amount. Let's see how best we can achieve that. So the event is going to be on click. When I come to the action, this is going to be move instead of show it effect. Now, what do I want to move? I want to move this layer. Before I continue, let me just hit on OK and give this layer um, a name. Let's just say um, footer so that I can set my event rightly. So I'll come back to this. I'll come to event and then I'll come to the event I was working on. So I'll go to edit. Now the target is going to be the footer. That is the layer I want to move. Now, how many pixels do I want to move? Now the top I have in here is the very top of the page. So it's starting from zero. And then when I move from the zero section to this, that is 500 pixels. If you can remember the height of my layer I have in here is 500. Now I'm going to bring another layer, which is also going to be 500. So when I'm moving from the top, how many pixels do I want to move? Now I'm going to move about 1000 pixels. So let me just select 1000 because I'm going to show a second layer in here that is also containing 500 pixels height and then this is going to go to the bottom of that layer now that is the um, event I'm going to set here I'll go ahead and hit an OK now I'm going to add one more layer now when I click on this button again I want this button to disappear because the next layer is going to show some other, other button which is going to show less so I'm going to hit on add and then I'm going to go to hide and then I'm going to select button one so that's my first button I created as button I'll go ahead and hit an OK and then hit an OK. Now come here, let me just move this aside a bit and then move this to this position. Now I'm going to set event for this particular um, button I have in here. So when I double click on this, I'll come to event. Now when I come to event, the first event I'm going to create is when I click on this particular uh, button, it is supposed to move um, this layer to its original state. So I'm going to select move. And then the original state is 500 pixels so i'm going to select that is the footer and then i'm going to go ahead and hit on ok now i'm going to um, create another event when i click on this same button it's supposed to hide this particular um, layer i have in here so i'm going to select i can select hide with the effect that is going to be the second um, layer so i'll select that and then i'll select uh, fade here now I'll leave the length on 500 pixels and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok now when i click on um, event um, this particular button I'm supposed to show this button again so I'll go ahead and then select show that is event on event the action is going to be show and then the button is going to be button one so I'll go ahead and then hit on OK and then hit on OK now what I'm going to do next is supposed to hide this particular layer I have it in here so let's just go ahead and do that I'm going to hide the second layer and then I'm going to move this layer to its uh, original position let me just make sure this is rightly positioned and then what i'm going to do next is just preview this page so that we see how it is going to work so i'll go ahead and hit on preview so as you can see i have my page in here so i have my three layers and then i have my button now when i click on this realize that second layer shows here and then the button moves to the very bottom now there are extra spaces because i might have not gotten the size or the position right i can just go back and then check that so this is my first layer when i click on this this disappears and then it brings me to my original position let's come back to our project and then see how best we can achieve um, the position so this is 500 400 pixels not 500 so i have to come back here and then make my correction so i'll come here and then i'll edit this from thousand to 800 instead of thousand this is going to be 800 I'll go ahead and hit on OK, hit on OK. Now select uh, my object manager, show the second layer, and then let me correct this also from 1000, um, from 500 to 800 pixels. So let me just go to this. 
from 500 pixels um, to 800. This is what I'm supposed to correct. So this is going to move back to 400 pixels. I'll go ahead and hit an OK and then hit an OK. Now I'll come back to my object manager and then I'll hide my second layer. Now I'll come back to the top. Let me just preview this again. And then um, as you can see, we have our page in here. When I click on this, this moves to the bottom. Um, that should be about 800 pixels. When I click on this, it brings me back to 400 pixels. Now it brings me down to the 800 pixels, this particular layer. Let's just, um, I think I still have extra space in here. Let me just correct that. So I'll come here. Let me just go to event and then see, oh, I changed for this instead. So let me just change this to 800 and then let me change this back to 1000. So I'll go ahead and hit an OK, hit an OK. Now let me preview this again one more time and everything should be fine. So when I hit on this, it takes me to the bottom. This particular layer moved to the bottom. And then as you can see, our layer, um, our spacing is now appropriate now. So when I hit on show less, this is also going to hide the layer I had in here. And then this layer is also going to move back. Now there's one more thing I want to show you. Sometimes you may be working with master pages. Now when you're working with master pages, you are going to encounter a couple of problems. Now let's see how best we can resolve that. So I'm going to go ahead and then create a master page in this project. So this is my new page created. Let me just name this master. And then I'm going to bring in some layers here. So I'm going to bring layer here, which is going to serve as my header. And then I'm going to, let me just change the color of this to something. Um, let me just select this color. I'll go back to general enable relative horizontal sizing and then I'm going to change the alignment to center. I'm going to copy this layer here and then I'm going to paste it here which is going to serve as my footer. So let me just change the color of this to let's say um, this red here and then let me bring my content placeholder. So I'll come to my tools and then I'll select um, look for my content placeholder and then I'll position that here so let me just uh, do that right here and then what I'm going to do next is come to my index page I'll right click on an empty space go to page properties then I'll set my master page so under master frame I'm going to select my master page and then I'll go ahead and hit an OK and then hit an OK now I'm going to preview this page once more and then you see there is going to be an issue when I go ahead and hit on this layer realize um, this layer moves down rightly but there's a problem. I can't see my um, my footer. Under normal circumstance, my footer is supposed to be showing. Now let's see how best we can correct that. Now what we can do instead of putting our um, footer here on our master page, what we can do is let me just first of all duplicate this page. What we can do is to create a master object for the footer. So I'm going to go ahead and then delete this footer I have in here. So let me just go ahead and delete this. And then let me come to the new page I created. Um, okay, I think I, let me just come back here, undo that, and then come here, master page, and then delete the footer. I'll, go, I'll come back to my new page. This is going to be master object. Let me just rename it to master object. And then uh, let me move this under my master page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my header and then my content placeholder let me just move this to the top here that is going to be my footer this is going to contain the footer information now when i come to my master page i'll make sure i don't have my footer here and then when i come to the index page what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go to tools and then i'm going to locate master object i'm going to draw here and then i'm going to select my master object page so i'm going to select this and then my footer is going to show here now what i'm supposed to do more is that when i set the event for this so when i click on this and this moves to the bottom and shows the layer in here this particular master object which is appearing as a layer that's my footer is supposed to also move to the bottom now let me just change this to footer footer one so that i don't confuse it with my already existing footer i have in here now I'm going to come back to my um, my button I have in here. Now I'll go to the event section. Now when I come to the event section, I'm supposed to set one more um, 
event for my master object in here now before i continue with that i'm supposed to get the appropriate size i'm going to use for that particular um, master object i have in here so let's see from here to here is 400 pixels and then if i add 187 that's 587 so i'm going to have 587 now if i'm going to bring the new layer which is going to be um, 487 so for 400 pixels now i'm going to add 400 to 400 which is going to give me 800 plus 187 which is going to be 987 so my event is going to be when i come here i'm going to go to event and then i'll hit on add so when i hit on the button this is going to be move and then i'm going to select 987 so let me just select 987 here and then the target is going to be my footer 2 so let me just go ahead and then sorry footer 1 instead and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok and then hit on ok now let me come back here and bring my second layer and then set an event for that also so let me just go to um events and then before i continue that i have to make sure i have um, this the size or the position of this layer so this is going to be 587 so if i'm bringing this back here i'm do i'll double click on show less and then go to event and then when i come to event i add another button here so this is going to be move and then uh, my target is going to be my footer one i have in here and this is going to be 587 so 587 is going to be the top is going to move this layer back to its original position i hit an ok and then hit an ok now let me come back to my object manager and then hide my second layer i have in here and then go to preview so i'm going to preview this page as you could see this is my um, page in here this is my footer and then this is my header now when i hit on show more it moves this to the bottom and then this also moves to the bottom now the reason why i'm encountering this is because of the uh, position of this and this i have to get that right so let me just come back to my um, event so this is going to be so this is going to be 587 let me make sure this is so i think i got this wrong let me come back here and then let me come to second um, layer i'm going to show less now show less this is 400 plus um, um this which is going to be 587 let me just come back here and then let's see how best we can achieve that so this is going to be 587 this is going to move to the um by bottom i think uh let me just the show less rather shows right and then a show more rather is what is given a bit problem so let's come to event and then see how best we can achieve that now let me go to the last event i set so when i select um i click on this this is 400 i have another 400 which is making it 800 plus this which is going to make it 987 and then this coming now let me make this 1087 instead i'm going to make this 1187 and then i'll go ahead and hit an ok hit an ok let's preview this again and make sure we got everything right so let me just hit on this and then this moves to the bottom but there's a problem here so let's correct that also so i'll double click on this go back to my event and then a first move so let's see the first move which is supposed to move to uh, 987 so let's just make this 987 because we have introduced something new in here and as you can remember we brought a layer which is seven as our um our header so that is also contributing to a factor so you're supposed to get all your calculations right before you pro um you proceed to whatever you want to do so let me just try this one more time and as you can see we have that right to be done here now i'm having this spacing because i don't really have all my calculations right but it's okay this is just a tutorial to show you how you can achieve more with um visible web builder on using events and then um layers and a lot more so this is it thank you very much for watching bye for now